Hey, you got a fact here. Take a review of Demarius Thomas's 96. We got him Ken Boost at a 98 overall wide receiver. Uh, so we got the toughness tier 5, so we can get up to 94 speed, which is, um, I, I would say, pretty important, the extra speed. 94 speed kind of puts him closer to, like, the, I wouldn't, I, I guess, upper, kind of not really upper, like, he's more towards middle, upper class receiver for speed. The rest of the stats there, you can see across your screen, are, are pretty high and pretty nice. Now, th this is the big thing in this uh, community, like, do the other stats on my receivers matter? I am inclined to say yes, uh, more than just inclined, I say yes, they do matter, of course catching traffic catching um, it, it matters to the extent like you can't just be out here taking smacks and, and keep holding on to the ball but the catching traffic you, you'll be able to there's like a certain I don't know I, I guess give and take with that catching traffic where it does matter but like at a certain point if you take such a hard hit it doesn't matter what your catching traffic is going to be it's not gonna it's not gonna matter same with same with carrying it, it doesn't matter if you have 99 carrying if you take a, a perfect square up hit from Sean Taylor and you're trying to like juke or, or something like that or even not even juke if you take that perfect square up hit Sean Taylor's gonna pop that ball out maybe not 100% of the time but a good percentage of the time so off of that, uh, the 94 speed I do think makes him very usable, and I think because of his run block and what he can provide for you in all around the game, it, it actually is a very good card. Uh, maybe very good might be a little high, but it's, it's very solid because of the 80 run block, 81 impact to go along with a 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 96 agility um, with the, with the high catching. I mean, he's got drop drop and passes, yes, which a lot of people say Omega lull to and. And uh, I really didn't notice the drops open passes thing so much as kind of like something like that where it dropped in traffic. When the catch in traffic being 93 is a little bit lower than you like to see. But the route running at 91 is exactly what you want to see. You don't care if it's much higher than that because 91 is a, that animation threshold for route running where um, you get the, the sharper, crisper cuts that way. Maybe the lower route running would hurt your man coverage. But man coverage itself just ain't great that year. There's spec catch opportunity gone. It just doesn't work. Don't go with spec catch. It don't, it don't mean jack. Um, even though you can um, can boost it up to 98 with a tier 5 go deep. I'm only running, I think, tier 3 go deep. Uh, but 96 jumping at 6 foot 3. A very solid big bodied card as he picks up. Fumble pickup, yes. Um, overall, like... This is a productive card. I would put this guy on the outside. I don't know. I would prefer somebody like a John Ross and on the slot position to really uh, be able to win on drags and, and crossing. And you'll see on a few of these drags, like, does he look overly fast? No, but I think he'd get the job done. Um, he, he'd get there because I like that 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 slot position, that inside and the trips formation for him because the run block there matters most of all to seal that edge on like the inside zones and not give that up. Um, you're, you're obviously going to lose battles like LT and the other high end outside linebackers with their block shed. Uh, but 81 carrying, so you'll fumble if you take a big hit. Stiff arm 92, which is, you know, hits the elite move. Um, but otherwise, his other moves, not elite. So he's not a very big racker. Um, uh, again, the other guys that are higher rack, you'd probably want like the smaller or just the faster guys, the Randy Moss types. Um, but overall, I think he's going to be a very good piece for your offense. He can make the plays for you. Like, I I I've... I've said bad things about jack-of-all-trades before. You want something to stand out. But when the jack-of-all-trades are high enough... Uh, in everything, like the run block being the number one, he's a number one run blocker, so that's not just a jack of all trade, that's number one. Um, he, he is a solid card out of 10, though, he's not like extraordinary, so out of 10, he's a 9.3. Thanks for watching Call to Action, I'll see you tomorrow.